Ladies, good afternoon and welcome to our white shirt special. At Artichoke, we have four styles of white shirt and we have three collar inserts. Now, I did do lots of research on this, but I have um, completely forgotten to print it off and all my research is on my phone. So let's talk about white shirts. Every woman's wardrobe should have at least one. They lift any outfit that you are going to wear. They are extremely functional. They can be worn year round. And as we are about to demonstrate, you can really dress them up to the nines or you can wear them in a very, very casual way. I think that's a brief resume of um, all my research. So ladies, if you are new to our Artichoke, welcome. We are an independent shop based in the market town of Swaffham that has a fabulous website. Um, if you're watching after this video has finished, so you're not watching it live on uh, Facebook, you're watching it either on Instagram, later on Facebook or YouTube, somewhere you will find a button that you can push which will enable you to subscribe to our channel, which is a very grand way of describing the weekly ramblings that we put on, normally on a Thursday afternoon at 4.30. If you are um, an old faithful, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming back to us. We're beginning spring now. The shop has been merchandised for spring. We've got all our new arrivals coming in every day and we will pop them up possibly on impromptu videos throughout the next few weeks. And of course, we're working to get everything online as quickly as possible. But it, it, although it's March, it is still really cold outside. And, and this is the time of year, ladies, where we have to get all our core pieces in place. So don't go off on a tangent and buy all your summer frocks when you still need your jeans and your jackets and your white shirts replaced, or indeed your pale blue shirts replaced for spring this year. So I'm just gonna say a quick hello. Hello to Anne. Hi, Michaela. Michaela, I'm going to message you later. Hi, Helen. I hope you're still on for supper tomorrow. Hi, Anne. Hi, Janine. Hi, Viv, darling. How are you? Hi, Terry. Hi, Becky. It was lovely to see you last week. Hi, Julia. Um, hi, Joe. Haven't seen you for ages. We're going to crack on now. I am wearing the Tessa. The Tessa is an oversized shirt, but you'll see that I've got it tucked in. I'm able to do that because it's a poly mix. So it's a poly cotton. It's predominantly cotton, but it has got a bit of poly in it. So it's a lot lighter than our other um, cotton shirts in, in uh, weight. It is, uh, I'll take this gilet off in the moment. I'll just talk through what I'm wearing. So this is basically um, a black outfit. I've got my Brandtex trousers, which uh, we sold in the shop this winter. I had actually put them away for the summer, so they're slightly damp because I pulled them off the line this morning. And it's teamed up with one of our heavy knit gilets, which we're still going strong on. They're great pieces for the winter, for the spring. And here is our latest range of jewellery. So this necklace is from Envy. We haven't actually counted it yet. So you can't have this jewellery yet. Um, it's a gorgeous range. Donna and I have fallen in love with it already. Um, I have no idea what we're even going to call this piece, but if you love this piece, message us. We can't give you a price or anything at the moment. We have bought a reasonable amount, but if you're determined to be front of the queue, just drop us a message and we'll pop one to one side for you. We think the price point on the necklaces is about... Um, 30 odd pounds and, and you'll see more necklaces coming through um, as we move on this afternoon. So this is a late winter outfit and I'm just gonna whistle off my gilet, part that over here with my NV necklace and show you how great this shirt looks when it is oversized. 
So this is what it should look like. And I'm just going to undo the button slightly so that you can just see that I've got a shorter necklace in the neckline when I'm wearing it oversized. So a white shirt with, a, with skinny uh, black jeans in the summer, in the winter, whenever is a great look. And are you going to do the sleeves on the test or shall I? Like if you do them? Either. I don't Donna's going to do the sleeves on the tesser. When she gets to the tesser, she is going to show you how she's wearing it. So remember, ladies, I'm five foot six. I'm a, a 14 to 16 on the top, 10 to 12 on the bottom. I'm in the size 14. You're going to see all these shirts worn by two women who have completely different body shapes. And here comes Donna. Hello, hello, nice to be back. Um, uh, this is my first day in the shop after my break in Wales. Um, seeing my parents, seeing my friends, um, having a lovely time, seeing all my college friends who hopefully are watching. Um, so this is my black outfit. Thought I'd start you off with black as uh, the weather, we can still get away with it in this weather. So we're going to be wearing the same four shirts. So I will be wearing the Tessa one later on so that you can see them on um, different looks. So we wear them differently. Um, they appear differently and we also chop and change our sizes. So um, this model's own trousers, model's own shoes, model's own jacket. So this is me updating um, things that have been in my wardrobe for yonks and our particular favourites. These trousers, these pleather trousers are my old faithfuls. This jacket, I have haven't worn them for a couple of years. I wonder why. The only times I wear them is when I'm on, on here. Um, so I'm wearing them with the Annabelle shirt, which is the frill collar Annabelle. Um, if that's you trying to get hold of us, sorry, we can't talk now. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Um, right, the Annabelle is really unusual from my point of view. Um, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to I'm going to strip off. I'm going to show you the necklace first, ladies, and then I'm going to strip off like Sarah did. So this is the chosen necklace by me of our new range. What's it called, Sarah? Envy. Envy. It's, it really is lovely. So that's the one I chose, but I'm just going to, and the little bracelet to show you, give you, we're giving you a sneaky preview of the new jewellery range. That's what we're doing. Right, so I'm just going to take off the jacket to talk about the shirt. And what I've done is black and white, which you know, if you know me, is a particular favourite of mine, but obviously a splash of colour in the shoes which I do a lot of with the shoes and the boots. Um, so this is the Annabelle shirt, which I like. It has three buttons on the cuff, but I like to turn it over because I, I like that. I, I just like the look it gives me, and that means that I can do that to it. Also because otherwise, um, if I left them long, they wouldn't stay white. This is me. Pop that there. Right, I've tucked in, I'm just going to pull out to show you how the length of it. So there we go, that's the length of it. And you may think this is looking rather big on me, but I, I am five foot, I am a size eight. When these shirts arrived, we grabbed the eight. For me, I tried it on and Sarah and I, we just looked, oh my God, this is never going to sell. It, it, it looked awful on me, absolutely awful. Um, so Sarah wore it that day. Then I tried, I went up a size. Uh, I fitted the eight, I went up a size to a 10 and thought, oh, this looks so much better. What I've done today, I automatically grabbed the 10, um, but I've also tried, got the, grabbed the 12. So I'm wearing a 12. So when I tuck it in, did you think it looked too big for me? I don't, and I'm comfortable in it and I can move. But the main reason I like it better than the 10 is it gives me more, I, I don't have shoulders. And so I feel that this, the sleeve on this um, shirt, it doesn't do me any favors unless it, it looks better when I go up a size because the, the sleeve is more defined on me. Can you see what I mean? You can see the sleeve more. So um, I could, oh, obviously that doesn't matter if I'm putting it under the jacket, but if I was wearing this with a tank top um, or I was wearing it just tucked in, um, nothing on top, it makes a huge difference. So if you ordered this and you didn't really like it on you, it look, I went up two sizes. So I've gone up two sizes. So it is something that you can try. If you come in the shop, 
obviously try on a few sizes is what i'm saying if you're online it might be worth buying two and returning one so that you can get that choice which one you prefer because i fit both i prefer this one okay sarah right ladies so before we go any further and before you rush to buy your white shirt of choice stop because we are doing a special offer from saturday so um you need to be signed up to the newsletter ops um if you're not signed up to the newsletter do that now via the website artichokecollection.co.uk and then everybody who receives the newsletter will be getting a special discount on our white shirts starting on sunday um, so I should have said that at the beginning of the program of program at the beginning of the video and the other thing I should have said is that uh, for you, those of you who are new we can't actually see uh, what you're saying but chat to each other and ask questions because we always go through these videos at the end and come back and answer any questions that you have and that is not just when you're watching it live if you're watching it later please do the same but ask quite specific questions uh, because if you just ask oh well what size is that we don't always get the sync we can't always tell what you're talking about and of course we love a big thumbs up or a big love when you see an outfit that you like so i have watched on instagram so many influencers wearing their pleated uh, skirts with a white shirt and normally they wear a white what the americans call a button down so basically for us it's a white shirt with a pointy collar without the button down bit because we don't sell those the Tallulah doesn't have buttons it's just a normal white shirt we tried that on and it was a bit stiff and i must say that i am so far out of my comfort zone now i can't breathe but bon donna assures me that it, it looks good and actually do you know what although um i wouldn't automatically go for an outfit like this i really am quite enjoying it so it might be a look that i um wear this spring once it becomes warm enough to leave off my thermal underwear so what i'm wearing is um the annabelle this is my annabelle shirt um it's teamed up with the pomodoro skirt that we had i think in winter um 2020 it's absolutely beautiful it's ombre so it's black and green beautiful beautiful floaty skirt um and with it i've got a belt that i think i got with a dress god knows where this belt came from because i can't imagine that i would have bought a wide belt but it's cinching in giving the illusion of a waist that i don't have i've just taken off our washed uh, look denim jacket which is 75 pounds lots of stretch in it ladies if you're looking for a spring jacket this would be perfect um, i wear my denim jacket all year round i just pop uh, a knitted gilet over the top in the winter and here you have let me pop that here here you have me in my annabelle now i have orangutan arms and the thing i love about this shirt is the sleeves are long enough but if you have shorter arms then you just turn the double cuff back and actually that looks quite nice as a, as a sort of neck uh, a bracelet length as well i am in the 16 um i could physically get into the 14 but it was too fitted for me i can't bear shirts that i can't move in um, and it, it's fine on the shoulder, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it probably could be a lot fitted, but I wouldn't be comfortable because I wouldn't be able to move. The Annabelle shirts are £75. £75, pounds. I failed to say Love that. Love it. And I forgot to say that my um, Tessa was 59 So this is me, outfit number two, ladies. And here comes Donna. Okay, and going back to my previous outfit, what I forgot to tell you, which is very exciting for me, is that um, 
next year because Sarah's already bought for next winter we have two uh, pleather trousers coming in two styles one by stamen and one by signature so something to look forward to for me um right I am wearing the Tessa that you saw Sarah in first outfit outfit one for Sarah so untucked um, I'm going to pull the sleeves down to show you how long those are, but let's start with the necklace. So there's another necklace. It's like a gold three teardrop and little beads. What are they made of? Let me see. Mm, I don't know is the answer, but we're going to investigate this jewellery. We just haven't had a chance to yet, but we are going to check it out and um, when, when we process it. Right, bag. I love this bag. It comes, you've seen it in black, you've seen it in red, and now this is a rather, it's a rather nice purpley uh, navy. Can you see it's purple tones. It probably looks more purpley on the screen, I don't know, but it has, it's purple tones to it. So I'm wearing it with my lowlies. Love my lowlies. Those of you who know me and have seen me, you'll see me in the spring and the summer wearing my lowlies with um, a heel, with a wedge. Um, with trainers so for example I've dressed these I've dressed this shirt up today with the necklace the heels imagine this shirt with the same trousers with a trainer and um, with a denim jacket you can dress it up you can get dress it down so the Tessa goes over the head as Sarah said it's 59 pounds I'm wearing a size 8 um, I am five foot ladies so you can see how long it is I'm rather short in the body so short torso so um that's how long it is look it's covering oh it's way below my it's about two inches below my bottom um so if you're short you can it's not too long it's tunic length um and sleeves let's show you the sleeves so i wouldn't wear i would wear the sleeves tied up like this because i need to show some arm but if you are long in the arm and you don't like um, the rolled up, then they are long, but look, they're, they're quite wide. They're a wide sleeve. A little bit too long for me, but on people with shoulders and arms, I, I imagine that they would be bracelet length, like that. That's what, if I wanted them long, there you go, that looks better. Right, there we go. That's everything. Sarah, ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Right, ladies, so this for me is outfit number three, and I am wearing the Tallulah. The Tallulah is our semi-fitted shirt that is named after Donna's daughter. And the obvious way to wear what is in almost like a dress shirt, it's such um, a lovely, beautiful, weighted cotton, is obviously to wear it with smart trousers, wear it out to lunch. And I just wanted to show you that you can really dress it down. Now we have, uh, fingers crossed, a new member of staff. Her name's Maria. She joined us yesterday and she was absolutely stunned by the quality of our shirts. Can you see the double stitching along the cuffs? and down the seams. These are so beautifully made by the Wondrous John in Tunisia. They retail, I think it's 65 pounds. Didn't check before I came out. Now I'm gonna talk about my outfit. So I've got my lovely white uh, Tallulah on. This again is my shirt. Um, I tend to buy a new sh white shirt every year so that I've got one that's pristine and then one that can just be, you know, dressed down because I might have washed it in the wrong wash um, with different colours. The top I'm wearing, you would have seen a lot last autumn. It's not actually a tank top. It is a linen top. Uh, that I wear in the summer and I have had for, I don't know, Donna, how long? You got it in the sale, so you've had it about three years. Three years. So it probably was on the shop floor four years ago because I don't take stuff out of the sale until nobody else wants it, do I? No. So nobody wanted this. I did and now everybody wants it. But I had that as well. And so I, we both yeah. got it. And I wear mine melted, surprisingly oh, so enough. <laughs> So anyway, this is not a tank, but it shows you how you can wear it with a tank top. And then I have got my favourite, favourite um, elasticated 
chambray trousers on that again you know i've had them for three or four seasons they probably uh need uh, i need a new pair to be ultra smart in and the reason i chose these is because we have got more wide legged elasticated trousers in a slightly heavier chambray so it's a it, it's heavier than this light cotton not quite a denim that's arriving in about three to four weeks so we can't wait for them and also my converses which i've had now i think this is my third or fourth summer we have got an homage to a converse which is very very similar it's the flat form converse and that is arriving, I think, uh, at the beginning of April. So we've got a white shirt that's here already. And we've got two items that have come out of my own wardrobe, which we will be stocking something very, very similar at Artichoke uh, later this spring. So this is outfit number three. And this is my white Tallulah. And actually, if we hadn't been so busy today, we probably would have had a conversation so that we were wearing the same shirts at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> but that hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen in a minute, though. Here's Donna. Uh, there we go. Right. I'm, uh, so this shirt is the Oxford. Oh, sorry. Spray it. This is the Oxford. Um, and it's the Oxford with the lovely detail, subtle detail of different coloured buttons. Yeah. So it's going to go with it's going to go with anything. And that's what I like. It's the little touches and the little details. For example, I should have shown you on the Annabelle, they're hidden buttons, they're, they're concealed buttons, um, you know, behind the um, behind the little flap. So this is the Oxford. I am wearing an eight in this. I do not want to go up a size in something like this, in this shape. I'll show you the shape in a moment. So this is my tucked in. The jeans, so when Sarah does her research, um, we have a list and we can pick from the list with things that we would wear. And this one was white shirt with coloured trousers. Easy. So um, these are the Angelica, the stretch, but these are the 28 legs. So they're called Angelica 1913. So for those of you who are new, when you're choosing Angelica, there are different types of Angelica and you need to look at that four digit number to make sure that you're ordering the correct style that you want. So these are the 1913s that are coming in um, in a couple of weeks. However, the red we currently have in, we are limited onto some sizes. I'll be honest with you, I don't think we've got an eight. Um, we are limited with the red, but the colours coming in are silver and what else, Sarah? We've got yellow and red in already. Yellow and red, lemon and, and red already, white, limited sizes. White, white silver, silver, silver and... White, silver, beige. Beige. Stonewash, yep. black. Yeah, so sil black. beige was the one that I couldn't, I couldn't remember. So beige, silver, stonewash, blue, black and black. And if you um, don't wear black jeans in the summer, but you want black jeans in the winter, but you're short in the leg like me, then you need to think about ordering the black now or when they come in. No, definitely, because we've got a list as long as our own. We've got a huge list, huge list waiting for these jeans. Right, so I've teamed them with the same bag that I had before, which I'll be honest, I can't remember what, um, how much it was, but it's online. So that's the red version. Um, I, it's nice to have a summery look on again. Um, really nice. Uh, I can... Put the collar down and I'm just going to show you so I'm looking at the screen instead of a mirror so I'm just going to show you how long it is and the shape of it so it's a very fitted shirt look really fitted and that's the length of it so it's ideal for tucking in but you can wear it out if you want to there we go Right, Sarah's ready. Oh, have you got the same shirt on? I have got the We've same done shirt it. on. <laughs> We've done it. We've got the same shirt on. I'm, did I say how much it was? £59. But there you go. Now you can see it on Sarah. Right, ladies. So this was not planned at all, but accidentally <laughs> it's happened. Now, I am in the Oxford shirt, which is £59 with contrasting buttons. I actually 
have got stonewashed jeans on. I wouldn't normally uh, wear this together. What I normally would have on is my blue black jeans, but I left mine at home and surprise, surprise, we still have none in stock. Jeansgate continues. Um, I have everything crossed that the next delivery will uh, arrive towards the end of next week. And with that delivery, we should be able to clear the backlog that we still have from our parents on Lorraine on January the 21st. And then the next delivery should get stocks back to normal. So we're almost there, ladies. Bear with us another two to three weeks and normal life should resume. So I'm wearing the um, Oxford that Donna just had on. I've teamed it up with my navy blazer. As you all know, this is a part of my everyday uniform. Uh, this uh, is about uh, three years old. However, we do have more navy Bariloche jackets arriving at the end of March. The jeans are the Angelica Magic Stretch, which you know we've told you about oodles and oodles of times before. So I'm just going to move on. Just going to chuck my blazer over here. I actually have the size 16 on, and you'll see, ladies, that it's very, very short in the arms on me, and that's because it's not quite sitting on my shoulders, and I have narrow shoulders. So this I'm wearing if I want a fitted look underneath the jacket. If, however, I was going to wear it on its own, I would go up a size to the 18. And we just do this, ladies, to show you that there's just no point getting hung up about what size you take. What you need to do is think about where you're going to wear this shirt and how you're going to feel in it. Now, I'm just doing this up over my size 16. So we're double shirting. I don't think this trend will catch on. Now, it's fitting me better in the shoulders. It is longer in the arms. Clearly, it's not as fitted, but I can still tuck it in or I could still knot it and I can move in it and I just feel a lot happier in a shirt that I can move in. So today, ladies, I have worn a size eight shirt, uh, sorry, a size 14 shirt, I have worn a size 16 shirt and I'm wearing a size 18 shirt. Donna has worn a size eight and a size 12, 12. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So it's about what you feel happy and you feel confident in. Now, I am actually going to quickly unbutton this because I can't treble shirt. I think treble shirting would be a step too far, even for me. So we forgot to mention one white shirt that we have because it's not on the shop floor. It is actually still in storage because it is our Louise. And the Louise is the, oh, I should have rolled this up. What I should have done is worn a white vest. Let me just undo this cuff and shove it up here so you can't see it. Life is too short to do that one. Now, I don't like oversized clothes particularly. I had the Louise in a, uh, blue last year and I abs I lived in it all summer I absolutely loved it I just love the cut of this so this is the Louise ladies we only have it in linen at the moment we're hoping to get it in a nice poplin later this season but this is your other option and then finally with the Oxford we talk about the beautiful detailing on our shirts just look at that ladies isn't that gorgeous? You won't find anything that is finished as beautiful as that, beautifully as this, my Oxford shirt en français. So ladies, that is my outfit uh, for uh, number four. four. It is the Oxford shirt and the Louise shirt. Here comes Donna with outfit number four. Okay, outfit number four was a devil of a job to choose what to put on my legs. So I've just gone for my blue jeans. Uh, this is my favourite shirt. It's the Tallulah. So it's the classic white shirt. These are all 
you know classic white shirt so but some some styles this is very fitted might not be any not, not be good for you but this is um a shirt which i uh, was named after my daughter it's my favorite and it was my favorite because we have it in pale blue and i love a pale blue shirt so that's why i named it however I have to say, I just, I love this in white as well. What I like about it is the shape here. This looks better on me if I wear it untucked. I can tuck it in, but it doesn't look as good tucked in as the other ones tucked in. But I, I like, look, I love the shape on it. It's, it's sort of, um, it's like, you know, it's, it's like a boyfriend cut, isn't it? Is the Tallulah a boyfriend cut? Because it it's appears semi fitted. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I've teamed it with my blue jeans. Um, I just want to show you the detail on this. Can you see the little blue? Little blue, where is it? I can't see it in there in the camera. There, little blue threading, which makes all the difference. You know, you can see it. The detail at the, um, is wonderful. What I'm going to do is try it with the tank. Because if you, if, you, if you think, okay, I love this look today, I'm wearing it with jeans and boots, but it might get a little bit chilly. So you could put it on with our coat again, you could put it on with a gilet um, and watch this space for some short gilets coming up, ladies, in a hopefully soon. End of April. Oh, yeah. We've Watch been that space. About again today. Oh, we? yeah, we have. Very exciting. Anyway, but this is the other option because we still have lots of the tanks and they got it on and there we go i can do that layered look have it loose or now i could tuck the whole lot in see and that's the tank top so if you have the tank top this is a great shirt for going under the tank top obviously they all can go under the tank top but that would be my choice because that's my favorite right and then if i'm going for the jewelry then i'm just going to show you this while we're waiting for sarah just tuck um, it there we go, there's the detail on this one. We're going to name them all. Oh, I don't know, perhaps we ought to just give these names as well. Make it easier. So that would be my choice for that, the white. Lovely. Right, no, not quite ready. So let me show you some more necklaces. I'll show you the detail on the bracelet. We, I haven't had a look at these properly myself yet. So we've got four strands little gold beads, the, the name is Envy. They're not online yet, they're not priced yet, they're not even counted yet. Um, this one that Sarah was wearing I particularly like. There we go. And I think, mm, I, I'm trying to work out what they're made of and I can't, so we're going to have to do some research it on that. It is semi-precious stone. Oh, those are precious that. stones, so that would probably be, ag 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 did you say agate? I don't know. Agate? Agate? Let me see that one on me. I haven't tried it on yet. How does that look, ladies? See, I thought that would be too bulky and too heavy for me because I'm so short, but actually I think I'd get away with it. Yeah. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, very summery. <laughs> very cold. <laughs> Right, ladies, so here am I in outfit number uh, five. Ooh, and awesome. this is my summer dress from um, MXO. We've stocked these for several summers now. Um, we are getting a sleeved version in um, hopefully any day now. This is the sleeveless version. And we are getting some coloured uh, dresses that are very similar made for us in Tunisia. It's got pockets. It sells out as soon as it arrives, mainly to artichoke staff. <laughs> because we all love this dress and we all wear it. It's called actually Linda's Mojito dress because during the first lockdown, she and Dave had some sort of date night that involved mojitos. I don't think we need to go there. Um, and I've teamed it up with one of our new Envy necklaces. So this, of course, is an homage to the necklace that you will see Trini wearing a lot. So we're going to call it the Trini necklace. It's gorgeous, suits me. It's a plain Jane necklace that makes a real statement. And underneath, I have the Fenella frilled collar 
just to show you ladies that frilled collars are not just for Christmas. You can wear them to transform your summer frocks as well as your winter ones. So if I just quickly undo this and take it off, you will see that I am wearing a completely different dress. Nobody would think that you had worn the same dress twice. So this is my outfit number uh, five, and that is the Fenella Frill Collar with the um, Mojito dress to arrive again soon, and our fabulous Trini uh, necklace, and Donna's ready to roll. So I'm gonna stop off this oh, side. Oh, I love this jumper, yeah. I love it. Um, this is such a lovely knit, fine knit, so very me. Can you see the knit? Am I showing you? Um, it's just in, oh, we have it in two colours. Look, we have it in navy and we have it in the off-white. It is, I said artist, Sarah said fisherman's, but can you see it's got two little pockets there? It's wide cut, so it, it, it reminds me of an artist's tunic. Um, so if you are, if you're large or oh, generous in the bottom department generous in the hip department look it's 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 really wide cut at the bottom um the sleeves are long but obviously you know me by now i i don't have very long arms so that i'm in the what size sarah the 10 I'm and that's in the another 10. reason the sleeves long because the shoulder's dropped isn't it the shoulder is dropped so the sleeve is long it the smallest size is the 10 so it comes in the 10 but i don't mind rolling a sleeve up not at all i'm used to it so that's fine i love it um i'm just going to take the necklace off so you can see it without the necklace and i'm wearing it with a peter pan collar so i could wear this with any collar we have white we have the white co insert collars look same as sarah so that we have the white insert collars they're all buttoned through so you don't have to have the messing around of putting them over the head and getting them covered in makeup we have them in the Peter Pan, we have them in the point, and we have them in the stand-up frill. Um, what does you... that jumper look like without a collar? Mm, I've seen let's it. have a look. Let's have a look with. No, we haven't seen it. No, because without... because you just yeah. bump, you just pop the yeah. collar straight on. Yeah. So this jumper. Oh, that it... looks bad too. Yeah. Is it online? I don't think it's online. No, because we had to wait for you to agree to be ah, photographed. Ah, photographed. Yes. We didn't have photography for it, so we have done that today outside mm. with me um, <sighs> playing model. So it's on the shop floor but it will be online shortly and it's just, it's really lovely. I, I love it. It's I love organic it. and free trade. Oh, that was the special thing yeah. about it. I yeah. wanted to read the yeah. label. Thank you. How are we doing for time? Have I got time to read the label? Uh, yes, I've got plenty of time to read the label. So it's a new company. Um, so it's called Blue and Green, meaning green as in it's environmentally friendly. It's called the Madeleine. It's 100% organic cotton. So for those of you who uh, that matters for, that 100%, and I'm going to read it. Fair trade ethical production. All our clothes are made in good working conditions with fair prices, fair payments to ensure local living standards are met and improved. And it is retailing at... 59, I want... I'm sorry. 59's right, yeah. Yeah, I've left my list over there. So... Um, it's lovely. So not only do I love it, but it ticks all of my boxes for those of you who know that I do try. I do try and I try my best um, to be um, ethically minded and environmentally aware. So I love that. So are we go it goes up to what size, Sarah? I should have I looked. I think it's 18. 18. So this is a 16. So I'm just going to show you. It, that is a large, that's a generous 16, isn't it? Because it is oversized, remember. Yeah. So it is oversized. I'm in a 10, which is fine. I don't, it's, it's not meant to be fitted. You know, it's an oversized jumper. So if I show you the 10, if I just hang up, I've got plenty of room here. So you don't want it fitted. There we go. And that's my final outfit. That's fab. So thank you, Donna. Um, the other thing that we haven't been saying about our shirts, the shirts... They are made in a factory in Tunisia. The cloth is sourced from Europe. 
uh, again it's a fair trade product and actually they are moving from their old factory to an eco factory in June and the factory then is completely powered with solar it's got grass on the roots on the roof it looks like the adnams brewery oh, wow. so you know it's something that increased what well, we've always tried to do it yeah. um but obviously some of the products that we stock um that are uh, fair trade and or organically uh, cloth and stuff they are a slightly higher price point but that is what you are paying for um so end of um lecture and none of them have been near russia <laughs> don't oh don't my god it's not that's do you know what i think we should stop laughing i mean no, there's nothing to laugh about no we Ukraine, can't support them but remember the video we did of you wearing the gas mask which i wish i could find that chris gave you i got it i found have it you? and yeah. we spent we'll ha you'll have to dig it out and put it on artichoke girls yeah. donna wore it for one of our first videos we spent about five minutes with tears running down our face we were laughing mm. so much little did we know she'd be wearing the bloody thing for two years yeah. So, yeah, our hearts, our thoughts and our prayers must go to everybody in Ukraine. And I don't think we buy anything Russian anyway. No, and if we, we do, no. we're going to stop doing it with immediate effect. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a sad note on which to end this video. Before we go, um, next week, we're not doing a video on Thursday. We have, however, got our lovely customer from Ely, Gail Marks, joining us on Friday afternoon, and we're doing a styling session with her. So as I mentioned last week, the biggest challenge we're going to have with Gail is finding her something that she doesn't look good in, but we are going to find her some things she doesn't like. So there you are. And it's postponed from... It uh, was postponed from the storm. From the gales. From Gale, the gales. Gale was Ga Gale, gales. Gale was put off Which I, I did have a little snigger about that, Gail. I'm so sorry. So anyway, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Um, and we will see you... Uh, remember to, to, to get the newsletter on Sunday. Uh, because you will get your discount. Do not buy these shirts before then. If you see a necklace you can't live without, message us. If any of the clothes that you've seen you want, even if they're not in the country yet, message us because we will pop one to one side for you. So have a fabulous weekend and we will catch up with you soon, God willing. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.